Hey, hello people, my name is Rage and welcome one and all uh, to our after buff keep a streak and uh, I can do this. I can do this. We've had three whole victories, not three partial victories, not three quarter victories, three mathematically complete victories. <laughs> And 96 Josh mentions three revving sub 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 back to work. Something need doing? Me not that kind of orc. I don't know. I'm just scared and excited and there's a bra and <laughs> Out of context, that probably describes a lot of an experience a lot of people have had. Either way! <laughs> not a great first item room, if I'm honest. Not a uh, not a great first item room at all, but we can deal. We, we, we can deal. Look, I'm not expecting this game district to go very long. I didn't expect it to get this far. I expected to definitely already be dead. So, really, I'm just very happy with everything. Oh, an instant choker. You've got to be joking. Oh, that is just... I didn't even deliberately mean to do that. It's just so sad to get that on a character that we just can't take advantage of it. I mean, I technically should still use it because, you know, it's one of those flaws that we can use it on and, ah, screw it, please don't be amazing. Well, actually, neither of those are, you know, ridiculously amazing for the Keeper, so actually, that's okay. That could have been a much bigger tease, you know? We could have been we could have been threatened with triple brimstone or mum's knife or Abaddon or just something insane that we couldn't take. So, all in all, that worked out kind of fine, actually. Oh, look, an Atticus cookbook. It, what, is, what, is, what is this flaw? Am I, am I paying for yesterday's good fortune? I feel like I am, in which case, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize there was a limit on the amount of good fortune that I could have, and I would have to spread it around between characters. I didn't realize. I just didn't realize. What am I going to do? That was a very sudden pin. It actually kind of scared me a little bit. A lot of you guys seem to think I have a very good surprise noise, and by very good I mean, <laughs> Everyone laugh at rage is the price noise, and I resent that. You know, I I resent that. You know, most normal people when they're surprised go, oh, <gasps> like, oh, oh. you know, it's it's normal. It's a surprise noise. I'm not unique, all right. I'm not a special surprise snowflake. I'm not a surprise flake, okay. I'm not a surprised flake. I do not belong in an ice cream as chocolatey goodness. That is not my calling. Flake actually has quite a lot of connotations. You can have a flake as in cereal, a flake as in chocolate, a flake as in to flake on the sofa, a flake as in a like a, just a little flake of something, like a wood chipping. Uh, that, that's like a lot of meanings behind one word that we've got going on there. I like how I perfectly waited till the end of the room to get value out of my spacebar item. My keeper skills are waning. They are definitely on the waning side of things, and uh, this worries me. This definitely worries me. I mean, we're getting a lot of keys, so that's cool, but it's not really going to save us now, is it? That was a dangerous little thing I just did there, but it paid off, and that's the important thing. Ooh, so many keys. I mean, that's very good. I mean, it's not like it's run-changing, it's not like it's just life-changing, but it's very good. I mean, actually, talking of life-changing and keys, uh, can you imagine if in actual real life there was no such thing as a key for a door? You know, like, this is the one key that opens this one door. There was just doors and keys. So every single door in the world is unlocked by every single key in the world, but but the key is magically evaporated into thin air and consumed when you choose to use it. So everyone has to just have mad stacks of keys to get in and out of doors. I mean, how would that affect everyone? Because technically you could use your key consumables to get into every single door. I mean, there'd have to be a way to know who unlocked it, right? There'd probably be systems invented to track who's used a key on this door. But if that's just how keys- COME ON! 
if that's just how keys work, then there's no way to stop someone just walking in to your house by just using one of the universal keys. Even if you know it was them, you know, they might have just taken everything uh, apart from the roof. Because you don't steal someone's roof. That's that's just rude. You know, there's a limit. You know, you don't want to literally steal someone's roof. Although, saying that, saying that, my uh, mum's neighbour had their driveway stolen. Literally, the, the flags of stone that made up the driveway were stolen, which I think is absolutely hilarious, because, you know, you see people outside in your driveway near your car, and you're like, oh my god, stop right there, and they're like, oh crap, quick, go, and you're like, oh good, I just saved my car, wait, what, why if there's a massive hole in my driveway and, and all my slabs are loose, are they, are they serious right now, are they, are they actually, okay, that's normal, that's, that's fine, what isn't fine, is that the only good item we've got on the entirety of the first two floors? In fact, the only item we've got is uh, Mr. Dolly. And while Mr. Dolly is great on the Keeper, because indeed any amount of Tears Up is great on the Keeper, we're not in a great position here for general completing of the runness. Like, I am very, very, very scared right now. And I, I don't want to predict early. I don't, but I, I think we're going to die. I genuinely think we're going to die, and I I don't know how to deal with that. I really, really don't know how to deal with that. So how would you handle it if keys unlocked everything and they were consumables? Because there'd be a massive key industry just producing them, because you'd have to buy them in- PLEASE! Well, it's alright! It's at least an item we can pick up, which at this point is huge, so I just- I can't complain. I really- Really can't complain. Oh my god. Alright. I mean, I guess I should injure them a little bit and then use the black pop to do a little bit more damage to them all. That makes sense, right? And then you should explode pretty soon. Lots of drowned worms in you. They must have been having a drowned worm party all up in here. And you know what they say about a drowned worm party. There is none like it. I hate fighting them so much. I really do. Alright, well, I mean, we've got our boss, so that's nice. Let's see what kind of travesty this is. Oh, Pestilence! At least this means we're definitely getting an item worth picking up. So we got that going for us. And we are on track for Angel Deals pretty early on. So that's obviously a nice thing, too. It's just, it's not going to be enough. That's the thing. That's what I am concerned about, is it's just not going to be enough, guys. I have no way to move. Well, there we go. <laughs> I don't know what we expected. Well, to be fair, no, I expected exactly something like this. I literally could not step forward because of the massive pool of death at my feet, and then we got bombed. I, I don't know. Maybe I could have done something different. Maybe I could have played better. Maybe I could have gotten good, but... I feel like with how this run was shaping up, that was always destined to happen. So, uh, there we go. <laughs> Look, I can't say I'm disappointed because uh, what doing this Keeper streak has made me remember and realize is that I absolutely hate playing as the Keeper by a massively large margin. So, really, <laughs> it's somewhat being relieved from eternal damnation is how I'm looking at this. So, I'm going to play a little bit more because, A, I don't want to rob you guys with just a seven-minute video. Like, come on, that is, that is just tragic. But, B, you know, this way, uh, everyone who's still watching the earlier bit, see, you guys, you guys and me, we're, we're aware that I died. We're aware that it's over, that the dream, the dream is gone. We know, we know we've been crushed. But, you know, the people that are just now watching the first bit, they, they are full of hope. They see that this video is longer than the second minute mark they must be like surely he gets out of this pestilence fight whereas in reality no i i die like a bitch so yeah we've, we've got that special awareness going for us and that 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 bonds us as friends and and fellow heroes and adventurers and that's the important thing isn't it it really is the bond of camaraderie in the key nation that i have devised uh, i think that's gonna be good okay so we want to get to our boss pretty quickly in this burning basement i only have 
have won, health I doth realized. But that's okay, cause these enemies suck. I don't know, I just enjoy myself some singing. Oh, some singing. I mean, I, I'm not looking too much forward to my chances on this, this particular keeper run as well, cause we're just not getting coins and we are in a ridiculously difficult room to deal with. Oh my god, I hate burning jumpers. Don't you just hate it when people who are literally on fire try and jump at you? It is just the worst experience. It really is. It's just like, what are they doing with their life? Well, I mean, not much because, you know, it's the last thing that they will ever do. Where are my coins? Where are my coins? Oh, if I was Daenerys right now, I'd be so pissed. I really would. And we're going to get some... Yeah, I finally got some healing. And look, it's another Horseman of the Apocalypse. I mean, it's quite fitting that a Horseman of the Apocalypse did bring about our Apocalypse. See, I never know with Keeper whether it's better to just move on and get to the next item room and boss room. Or whether you should risk exploring the floor for potentially no gain and then taking damage that you can't repair. It's, it's really always quite a interesting decision to make. Not upset there that I just got pushed into uh, my death. I mean, the thing about Keeper's shot spread is he does uh, push enemies into him a lot, which obviously sucks. But we did it, you know, we, we got there and we got the coin and we could move on. So we at least get to go to the second floor, which is really, really good. Really, really, really good. Okay. And now I can use... Oh, that was satisfying. That was a great little chain of a cube of meat deaths there. That was great. And then those guys died really nicely. Come on, item room. I mean, I love how we've already got more, more useful items than we had at the entirety of the last three floors in the previous run. That is really, really saying something. But no, I, I do feel somewhat of a sense of uh, relief that our onerous keeper task is done. And you know what? We'll we'll go back to uh, randoming a fair bit and just just enjoying runs for the sake of runs. You know, I think I think that's something uh, we've been uh, missing for a why why yo because uh, obviously we still have the Eden streak, which seemingly we're always going to have. Two shot. I mean, it's not horrible. It's a nice little bit of a damage increase every now and then. I mean, it's not it's not run changing, but occasionally it does kill stuff a lot faster. So we got that going for us. I and mean, obviously, there's no point blind per throwing. So uh, yeah, there we go. Careful. Lovely little block there from my cube of meat. Don't want to waste any bombs on Monstro, but at the same time. Uh, do I? No, I don't think I do. I mean, I'm gonna kill him with his own teeth. I mean, he doesn't have that many teeth left. So the question is, where am I getting all of these monstro tooth shots that I'm firing? Do I have like a harvest factory of just monstros? In which case, that sounds very, very horrific. It really does. I mean, obviously, I can't take these irrelevant. Even if I could see them, it's more than likely I couldn't take them. So let's not go crazy all up in here. We don't have time to be like, you know, we just don't have the time. Maybe later. Okay, maybe we'll go crazy later, but it depends on how I'm feeling. <laughs> All right, absorb that guy. That's lovely. Yes, absorb that guy. Oh, that needs to be an item. Maybe a spacebar item that literally lets you absorb the enemies in a room and gain powers based on who you absorb. Would that not be awesome? That would be so cool. Oh, we need that in our Isaac lives. We really do. So many ideas I want them to have implemented for uh, for Afterbirth Plus. It's going to be really good. I mean, there's already about 50 new items going to be added. So it is uh, very, very exciting. Careful. And there we go. I did it, guys. I did it. I'm so proud of myself. And then immediately regret it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, at least it's not the host. But still, this room is awful absolutely awful why won't you die why won't you die please please why won't you die just die just just die zombies zombies just die please just die there's only so much dodging i can do how have i not taken a hit yet this is insane oh god oh god no no all right i think we're okay i think i think we're okay i mean i did take a little bit of a hit there but that's that's fine i i can deal I can deal, and yay, I dealt. Oh, I'm so happy. I dealt better than a professional poker player. I am so happy about that. 
Oh, I really, really am. So we'll ignore the we'll ignore the key conundrum for now. And uh, I mean, honestly, with with the whole, I, you know, I'm happy that we died there, and my keeper ordeal is ordeal. I actually ordeal, yes, my keeper ordeal is ordeal. I, I like that. It's like a special type of cordial. God, cordial is nice. I mean, mostly. I mean, I like lime cordial. I mean, a lot of people find it weird that one of my favorite flavors of stuff is lime. I just really like bitter sharp things. I really, really do. I don't know why I like bitter sharp things, but I just, I mean, I kind of always uh, tend to found it. I mean, there's a really offensive joke I could make here by saying, that's why I've always liked X person, implying that they're both bitter and sharp. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to be kind. I'm going to be kind, and I'm not going to throw shade for once, because uh, really, it's actually more evil of me to not throw shade today, because it's absolutely boiling, and I am I am basically recording this, this, this run for you guys in an oven. And you know what happens when I'm recording in an oven. My brain gets mushy and fried, and I'm like, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know where. I don't even know what's going. On. I don't even know. And uh, basically, it results in some, let's just say, air quotes, interesting things being said. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's just not question it if anything terrible like that happens. I say terrible like that happens. We already had the mother of all accidental things happen in a previous run last week. But we're not going to bring that up. No, we're not. Right, guys? Right? We are not going to bring that up. Magic mushroom? No. I don't know what I expected. But we got puberty instead of magic mushroom. And then we may as well open that. Go, Larry! Yes! Good job, Larry. Always running towards the bombs, aren't you, Larry? That's a lot of money. That is good. Uh, at least we can use the shop on this floor quite expertly. I mean, I don't know how you expert use a shop. I mean, it's not like it's the most terribly complicated thing in the world to purchase something, but, you know, there there it is. Uh, I tell you what, I was reading this morning about a horrific story of... <laughs> this is always a fun thing to say at parties. I'll tell you what, guys, I was reading about a horrific story earlier. Really terrifying. Let me tell you about it. It'd be great fun. Of a dude that got stuck head first. Like, imagine imagine somebody digging a hole the size of you, and then you get lowered into it head first, so your feet are at the top of the hole, and you're just pressed into the ground. Well, imagine that, but miles underground in rocky tunnels that you have no way of getting out of, and that you're stuck head first into it. And uh, you're stuck there for 26 hours while a rescue team tries to get you out, but because of the nature of where you're stuck... Apparently, it's a monstro day today. That's okay, I guess. But because of the nature of where you're stuck, they just can't get you out without breaking your legs, which obviously isn't ideal. And then on top of all of this, while you're stuck there, the area that you're stuck in is slowly filling with water so that you are on a time limit before you drown. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's what I was reading about, an article of somebody who had gone through that. And it just, it terrifies me to the core. Because I'm always someone who, I don't really fear... I, I get because if we if we go a little bit of Davy Jones, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean, do you fear death? Tell me. I mean, technically speaking, you know, in the technical sense, my answer to that would always be no. What I think I fear fear and what probably most people fear is the method via which that they die but if one day you're walking along and then switch like a light switch you're fine and then you're dead I mean you yourself are never gonna know about it because you go from normal human thinking things to oblivion that you're not aware of like you've fallen asleep and not woken up so you know you don't know that you're dead to be like oh gosh darn darn it I'm just so dead or it and ah oh, damn it it sucks you know you're not aware of that so actual being dead at least to my mind is irrelevant because you don't know and you don't give a crap so it's always for me the worst methods of dying that have uh, been my fear and you know the reason I bring it up is because reading what happened to this dude being stuck in that way for so long that I don't think I could physically imagine a worse way to die I really genuinely don't it would just be 
so awful because I bet you don't even get an internet connection down there as well. So you couldn't. <laughs> that sounds really, really first world problems. I'm trapped upside down in a rocky cave. I'm probably gonna die. And what's worse is I can't even get an internet connection on my phone. And the reason I say that is because you at least want to be able to like shuffle your phone out your pocket and then ring people you care about to let them know that you're gonna die a horrible rocky death. You know, that's, what I'm, that's just what I'm saying. In fact, when I was younger, I used to have nightmares about dying in a cave. So, ain't that lovely? You know, not that I want to bring the mood down in this episode or anything like that. But, you know, shiz happens. That's all I'm saying. Shiz doth indeed happen. Uh, nothing crazy going on here. All right, our item room. This is good. Uh, I say good. It's probably going to be bad, isn't it? I don't know. Characters where a lot of ah ha ha, where a lot of items are just pointless for them are just kind of really poorly designed characters, in my opinion. Like the difficulty is nice and all, but it's just, it's just not good. You know, it really is just not good. Uh, but that's okay. All right, we can definitely deal. I don't know. What about you guys? You got any like really bad uh, fears like that? I think it's I think it's interesting imagining fears because well that I'm terrified of spiders, I could probably deal if I had to. I, I think if I absolutely had to, but I don't know. You know, I mean, when push comes to shove, I could crack because I think I'd be okay with a tarantula because they're kind of chunky and as, as long as I was assured that it's not something that is deadly, oh, you know, that its bites don't hurt like hell and that it's likely to do it. Because there are species of aggressive as fuck spiders that just wander around. In fact, literally, it's the wandering spider that wander around and just try their best to mess with you. And those are the kinds that you're like, nope, oh god. Oh god. Oh god, it's so fast. Alright, we got rid of it. We got rid of it. That's good. I just hate it when tiny explosive midgets run at me. You'd be amazed how frequently it happens. You really would. <gasps> yes, please! The car battery! Oh, what glorious day! What glorious day! I mean, I shouldn't be that happy. We've still managed five freaking useful- Oh god. Oh god, there we go. We managed five freaking useful items in this entire run. So oh, no! In the back! I thought he was dead, but then zombie attack in the back! Take that! Fuck! I got whacked! <laughs> that was kind of nice and niming, a nice rhyming exclamation of pain there. Niming? See, I cut the heat. The heat! The heat! The heat! Oh, the heat. <laughs> But you know what? It's nice, because normally I'd be like, ah, crap, we're dead. So I've let you guys down. The run's over. But as my actual Keeper Streak death run was, to my mind, almost unavoidable, I really don't mind. And uh, sometimes you just, you just gotta go for it. You just gotta go for it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, next time I die, I am gonna commit. And I think that'll do for this, this final bit of Keeper for hopefully a while unless we get very unlucky with a random but even then I might just I might just re-random yay fire mind I mean it's good don't get me wrong but now I'm just gonna explode myself to death like there's there's no question in my mind that's not what's gonna happen here and I know I should be aware of that and not fire while next to people but it's so easy to do that and it's so easy to get into a situation where you almost have to it really is and there we go. Alright, where is our boss? Clearly not here. I don't think I could have chosen a worse place. I like that they stay on fire even when they retreat underground. Like, surely that would put them out if they're going through a tiny little tunnel, but no. Careful. Yep, see, look, instantly happening. Instantly happening. Of course it is, but that's alright. Well, really distinct lack of coinage here. I actually thought the boss wasn't in there because Curse of Darkness. I can't see anything, but no, it was. Careful. Self. I like how Firemind is arguably the best item I've got in the entirety of these three runs. Yet at the same time, I am actually the most likely to die from it. There's, there's some sort of cruel irony in that. There really, really is. Oh, God. All right. I believe that's the that's the thing I gotta I gotta forcefully believe because no one else will you know you gotta believe in yourself because you're your greatest ally you really are no matter what anybody says okay there's a lot of champions going on in here they must have been having some sort of tournament okay because like champions in a tournament I I know I know really funny funny stuff. Come on, give me the goods. Wow, we really are getting the goods on this run. This is going very, very nicely. Surprisingly nicely. Suspiciously nicely. 
definitely suspiciously nicely. Something's got to go horribly wrong, right? There's, there's no way we're allowed for things to go this kind of right. All right, that'll do. Got that going. Lovely jubbly. Careful. Nice. Let's go have a look up here. And ah, I mean, it can't last forever. The luck can't last. I'd say the luck. We've had three entire good items, but still, it can he last forever. And that's okay, because it doesn't need to last forever. Because no king rules forever, my son. Oh, I got chills when I first heard that. And, you know, if you don't know the reference, that's fine. You know, it's a World of Warcraft thing. But for those of you that do, oh. What a good quality moment. What a great, great moment. <laughs> All right, let's kill him with quite literally fire. And then our boss should be... Wow, it's not here. That surprises me. I really thought it wouldn't be this far away. Oh, God, it's got to suck getting randomly blitzed out of nowhere. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we're good. We're good. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. My uh, lovely spacebar item actually came through for me, which is nice, because normally it very much doesn't. How much damage does a fire mine explosion do? Is it just normal bomb levels? I really don't know. Ooh, that's convenient, because that's about to take a dunk on this boss. Look at that. Uh, actually, I'm surprised that Monstro survived that many flies, because our damage isn't that horrific as the Keeper, so that is interesting. And pop. There we have it. Time to be teased by a devil deal. Wow, no, not time to be teased by a devil deal. Nice. All right, guys, we're doing it. This is the run, I believe. <laughs> And can save the world. No, I will never stop saying that out there. I will never stop paying homage to one of the best damned shows that has ever been created and that you will ever have the pleasure of watching because, God, it is good. <laughs> like, it's the type of show that you have chronic depression after it ends. And they are few and far between. They really are. And we are... It's all right. It's fine. I, I, I definitely needed to re-roll my rewards. 100%. I just hate it when my rewards are static and I and I can't re-roll them. It's just the worst thing. This is a prime example for room that gets you exploded in your own face, but we managed it. And that is good. Got ourselves a lovely fly. I mean, I want small rock. I really do. But, you know, we can't, we can't have it all roll our own way. <sighs> Thanks, Heat. Appreciate it. Really do. Really, really do. Alright, these guys should get annihilated. Didn't actually want to pick up that coin, but as it turns out, I don't think it's going to matter too much. Especially when that dude literally just floated into the fire for me. Like, that's very, very convenient of him. Whoa! That was a sudden lot of death that came my way. Holy crap! But we got there in the end. Because I am the one, the Neo of the Majesty! <laughs> I don't know what that is. It sounds like the Queen's own Neo, which actually would be quite a cool position. So you've been promoted to the Queen's One. You have complete control over cyberspace, and you must do with it what you will. <coughs> what you will. I love killing the meats with fire mines. It really does feel like I'm cooking them, and that is just satisfying. I have a feeling that I have no idea where it is I'm going as I immediately find the correct way. That is how it's done. Take note. The explorers among you. Never mind. Take, destroy your notes. Throw them into the fire. Cast them into the fire. Do it now. Do it now. No, I think I'll keep the notes. My precious notes. This way? No. This way? No. Maybe this way again? Still no. I, I hate amnesia so much. I really do. It's just such a terrible curse. <laughs> such a terror. Hey! That's convenient, but it is still such a terrible curse. It really is. Of course, I instantly exploded next to myself. Oh, this isn't even the correct way! What is life? <gasps> what is life? There's nothing I really want there. It really isn't. But actually, 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 I do want Mum's purse, because then we can pick up the tick without having the downsides of having the tick. Ain't that just convenient? Uh, all right. Where the... Oh, there was an up path. There was an up path this entire time. There was an up path. I should have known the up path would be lying to me, hiding itself from me. <laughs> Damn you, up path. Damn you all the way to pathy hell. <laughs> Where all the evil paths go to rest. Oh, no. 
Oh no, 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 no. Okay, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Just keep going over the fires, keep going over the fire. Yes! I don't know how I got away with that without taking damage. I did. I don't know how, but I did. And that is by far and away the important thing. It really, really is. Okay, we'll open you, see what's in there, nothing crazy. I mean, the tick isn't massively good, but, you know, it's 15% of every boss's health. Does it work on the hush like that? Because actually, 15% of the hush's health is quite the large margin. Like, that's a lot of uh, damage time that technically does save you. So that'd be kind of interesting to find out. I mean, I'm assuming it does. There's... Well, you know what? When in Rome, let's do freaking swirly explosive fires. Why not? Because we're here to have fun now. We're not here to win. And this is more fun. Actually, I think it might just somehow be a little bit more effective than we uh, think. Just because of how the Keeper is. Like, it means our tears aren't too much of a downside. And I can nicely... It almost forces me to be away from things before they explode. Because I have to be the correct uh, amount of distance for Tiny Planet to be useful. So I do actually kind of like this. Careful. Careful. We are missing a health right now, which obviously sucks, but I can deal. These guys will get swirled around. I mean, a good explosion would do wonders here, but a good explosion is also going to kill me, so I very much have to be careful, especially if one of those flies uh, gets a little bit too close. Careful. Kill it! Please, kill it! Give me some health. Nope. All right, that's fine. I don't want health anyway. Your health sucks. Oh, God. You're gonna explode, you are gonna explode, and yeah! Alright, we're still in this, guys. We're still in this. And we've got a shop, which is lovely. Hopefully, something like the stopwatch doth await us. Well, I guess we'll get hive mind. That's more tangibly useful on the keeper, because uh, we do get a lot of flies from finding all the various useless amounts of uh, health around the place. So we got that going for us. I'm very lucky that didn't explode while the worm was uh, quite next to me. So uh, that is good. And now, goody. Oh, goody. Yeah. This kind of sucks because there's a lot of stuff in this room that I can explode next to and not really. Ow. Oh, God. Oh, God. Careful. 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 Yep, that's good. That's good. Soon as he moves, then we move around to here. I can do this, I believe. Here we go. I'm just scared of the thing on my, uh, the nub on the left from suddenly just destroying me. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Also, I can't move too early because then he might decide to fire in the wrong direction. At least, wrong for me. And then I die horribly. But no, we did it. We actually did it. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of us. <laughs> Careful. It would be very embarrassing to suddenly die to this nub because I can't hit it with anything. Like, look at this. Holy hell. There we go. All right. At least while it's on fire, it can't grow. We did it, guys. We did it. And we got the tears up, which is lovely. I mean, the shot speed doesn't work, uh, matter too much. But yeah, on to the depths. To say I'm playing reasonably recklessly. This is going surprisingly well. And also to say we have an absolute terrible synergy right now. Okay, these guys should be fine. Grandpa Dingle Dangle uh, splitting into his children. That would be cool if that's how... Oh, crap. If that's how... Uh, humans actually had to do it. You don't actually get to have children until you die, at which point you literally split into two younger people and they're technically your air quotes children. That would be very, very freaky. I mean, it would be a sight to see in hospitals, wouldn't it? Oh god, he's about to die. Make room for the two new ones. Make room for them. I mean, what age would they be? Because based on... In fact, yeah, based on the how the Dingle Dangles do it. So when you die, you split into two versions of yourself that are 30 years younger unless the 30 years would take them to minus one, at which point it's just as young as they can get. So, you know, newly born. That would be kind of interesting, but then again, if you died at 80, you'd only spawn into a 50-year-old person, so the population would remain very old, apart from freak accidents where people die young and then spawn even younger people. So, maybe it should just be a reset each time? I don't actually know. I think this is something we need to definitely uh, discuss at length. Isn't that right, Angel Baby? Isn't that right? Okay, all right, um, Mr. Mega, it's not horrible. The bomb DPS is uh, kind of nice. It's not crazy, but, you know, it's definitely uh, kind of nice. So that is fine. 
That spider very nearly ruined my day. These things are kind of very irritating to deal with, Tiny Planet, because I can't really just choose to hit them. I mean, restocking shop is obviously wonderful, but it's not something we can really abuse too much right now. Oh my god. This room is not good. This room is not good. How am I alive? How am I alive? How the fuck am I alive? That was insane. That was absolutely insane. I cannot get over that I somehow managed to survive that. Like what? There was so many freaking death heading towards me there. Oh. My heart. My goddamn heart. The beam weaving that I just had to do. The beam weaving. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am just... That's fine. This is fine. Oh, hey, War. How are you doing? Pretty good? Careful. Oh, good. An extra host to fight in the room. That's lovely. Just love fighting an extra host. Fortunately, he is dead. Those troll bombs aren't anywhere near me. He's actually getting bombed quite a lot by his own bombs, which is uh, very, very satisfying. How did I not take damage there? I, like, got hemmed in in a corner by him and was just completely fine. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. Although he is taking some serious killing. Our issue now comes from the fact that we do have an absolutely tiny amount of uh, damage. So even when we can consistently hit people with uh, our... Oh god, I have to be so careful. The chances of me exploding myself are so high. Uh, careful. Careful. There we go. Alright, I got there. I got there in the end. And onwards we pop! I mean, I am astounded to be on Depths 2. I really am. Don't, don't, uh, let that escape you. But I really don't think we'll kill Mother. Just because this situation is ow. Just because this situation is ow. And I don't know how to beat an owl-based situation. I could deal with an owl-based situation. Because I'd love an owl-based situation. Because owls are awesome. But I don't think I could deal with anything else. And our item... Crack the useless. Yay! Even with the buff it got. Just so, so terrible. Alright, this should be fine. I mean, again, these knights are awful to uh, kill with Tidy Planet. But fortunately, as we can just set them on fire, we don't have to accurately hit them. Which is very good. I mean, that, that's just a general life lesson. If you can set something on fire, then it very much just saves you having to actually deal with them. And uh, that is great. Uh, these guys will slowly get cleaned. Oh god, oh god, I had to take my hand off my keyboard to scratch my face. Because I had an itch and I was risking it. But it paid off in the end. Because I had to choose. Do I stop moving or do I stop firing? I think I'll go for moving because I should kill them as they get to me, which I did. You know, admittedly I did. So in the end, it proved to be a successful choice. I think this is the way to get to Mother. This is actually a really, really neat way to fight this room because they can't do anything about this because they don't go on the spikes. Oh, that is wonderful. Yeah, go on, charge at me, mate. Go on, do it. Do it. Charge at me. Want you to. Go on, yep, spikes. Oh, he so nearly spiked himself to death. That would have been uh, wonderful. And it's got to hurt for a chub because he charges over them, which means they just rake holes in his entire underbelly, which is obviously, you know, a ridiculously uh, messed up thought to have. All right, then, mother. Let's dance! Oh, it's champion. That's really not good. That's really, really not good. That gives us... So many fewer opportunities to uh, fight her. Ah, oh, the instant thing, frick, like, seriously? The instant tears from the back as I heal up. Oh, God. Oh, God. I just need the fires to melt her. Come on. Come on, fires. Melt her, melt her, melt her. You can do it, I believe. As long as I just keep moving around in a circle like this, she'll eventually die, right? Like, that's... That's what's gonna happen. She'll eventually die, yes. How did she not take fire damage there? She was on multiple fires. And if I just stick there, careful. Yes, I'm gonna do it. I'm actually gonna do it. No way. <laughs> Get on my level. I mean, not that I'm gonna do the boss rush, but let's have a look. Oh, we could have freaking spoon bender. I can't do it though. I can't. It would. We'd die. We'd die so quickly. And I'm not trying to die, obviously. So. Yeah, I cannot believe that we've managed to get this far. 
I really can't. Oh, careful. How did I... What? It's like I just killed that dude by moving through him. Which is very weird for me to say. Like, it really, really is. Okay. Careful. I don't think I could have... How is it possible, right, that Tiny Planet Firemind has got me further than the other two runs? This is such a stupidly dangerous synergy to willingly have on the Keeper, yet it's somehow working really, really well. And I just... I just don't understand it. He should die as soon as he pops up to the fire. Oh, he's not doing. That's, um... Oh, come on! Please... Please, just at any moment. Come on, I'm, I'm dying here. I'm dying here, please. How are those fires? You are literally so much on fire. Die! Die! Okay, we did it. We killed him. All is well with the world. All is well. And that is wonderful. That is uh, wonderful. These guys, not too much of a problem. I mean, my issue... Actually, to be fair... No, I, can we do It Lives like this? I I think It Lives might be our end. That was a silly a bit of damage to take, but it is done now, and I have to accept it. Careful. Oh, there's only one of them left. Oh, that's fine. And look, instant coinage. And then we'll save that coin for a heal coin. Well, I was going to save it for a heal coin, but now I'm not because it's at the other side of the map on a amnesia level. So I will never ever find it again. So it's just going to sit there going to waste if not. And we can skip this for now. That was, um, admittedly, I, I panicked and immediately walked into the tentacles. That's, uh, that's what happened there. But that's okay because, ah, uh, I, how has this happened that I instantly really need my backup safety coin after saying there's no way we'd need it in time to come back all the way through there? Like, it just seemed really upsetting, doesn't it? And no, still no coin? Are you serious? Come on. The world, I guess, is more useful than, oh, this is it. This is so it. This is, this is it. This, yeah. <laughs> There's just no, yeah, that was, that I knew as soon as I walked into that room. Game over, man. Game over. Like, if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Oh, good boy. You